today. Hi, my name's Phil. I'm the Income School student. Today we're going to be talking about how you can beat out the competition with your posts. Well, of course, you need to know the battlefield and you need to bring the right equipment with you. So one of the major things that sets Jim and Ricky from Income School apart uh, with their Project 24, which I'm a member of, is the way that they write posts, and in particular, the length of the posts that they write. Most bloggers out there will write posts around 300 to 500 words, and that's it. They think that's pretty long. But on average, the top ranking uh, results on any SERP on Google are around 1,000 words long. In Project 24, we routinely write around 1,350 words to 1,500 words minimum. And to us, that's a quite a short post. So why exactly do we do that? Well, we're trying to be as helpful as we can. What most bloggers will do is merely answer the query that they are uh, using as their key phrase or key word. What we do in Project 24 is we answer the next question and then the question after that and even the question after that. And that makes our posts more useful, more user-friendly, and it makes us rank much higher than the competition. And in Project 24, this is exactly what to put in the post. And this is what Jim and Ricky call the post recipe. This helps us not only uh, rank our posts, it also helps us win snippets, and that's position zero. That's the, uh, the uh, result that appears at the very top of a search. And uh, if you get that, you can even if you rank in position 10, if you get the position 0, you're going to get a lot more click-through rates than you might do otherwise. We also make sure that our posts are very easy to read, very easy to navigate, and that just makes them rank higher and keeps the user on the page for longer. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how we do things in Project 24, then head over to my website at Income School Student dot com slash project 24 or look at the description of this video to find out more about 20 about project 24 and exactly how you can use it to improve your writing your blog and to actually make a full income within 24 months just as a lot of us are doing at the moment the first type of post that we learn about in Project 24 by Income School is called the response post. That's around 1500 words long and it's usually a direct answer to a query that a user might have when they're searching on Google. And not only uh, do we win a lot of these low competition, low hanging fruit kind of queries as we call them, we also use response posts to really gain early trust with Google for a new website. And the more response posts that you win, the more trust you're going to get with Google, and that's going to lead on to the next two types of uh, posts that we write, which will bring in a lot more traffic over time. Okay, the next kind of post is called a staple post. And this is around 2,500 words long. And the real aim for this is to create very shareable content. Things like uh, list posts and the, the best type of you know, X for Y posts. And uh, it's really something a little bit fun and interesting for your viewers. And yeah, you can share this on things like Pinterest. It's also a good basis for a YouTube video. So the last kind of post that we talk about in Income School with Project 24 is called the pillar post. This is the content that really props up your business. You're often going to write this content for the more competitive keywords that you come across and it's really very useful information that is very well researched and it's just going to give the best user experience for your uh, website users and it's really going to bring in the most traffic for your website over time. Okay, so I'm not saying that if you just write a lot of words on any type of keyword or query that you're going to rank. It's not quite that simple. There's something that we call ideation and we call selection in Project 24. This is when we come up with our queries that we found through uh, actually using Google itself and then we go through and really analyze the level of competition and we choose which category, response, staple or pillar that we put that post in. Now by doing that we can almost ensure that we're going to rank quite high for that query. Now if I just write a lot of words on any old subject that's not going to be the case. So 
it's really important that you consider this and perhaps even consider purchasing Project 24 for yourself to learn how to do this properly. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also head over to my website at incomeschoolstudent.com slash project24 where I will give you some uh, extra hints and free tools to make sure that your own Project 24 journey is a success. So thanks very much for watching and see you next time.